welcome back to another vlog today is wednesday april 10th i just posted a new bookstore vlog this morning at 7 a.m i'm sure you all have seen this by now because we are now a week later but i am now starting off the vlog it is wednesday morning I am at the gym. You know, I don't start work until 10 on Wednesdays and I'm working from home today so I can optimize my time today at the gym. I was just sitting at the longest light ever. The, a light that I take every day that don't usually take that long just took forever, like 10 minutes for me to just get here. So um, I am at the gym. I will take you all with me. I'm going to take y'all in there. I, ain't, I can't promise I'm going to pull y'all out. I'm going to try to get some clips. I don't know. It depends on how busy it is. But I'm about to go ahead and start my workout because I need to optimize like all of my time in there because I need to get out of here by 9.45. Really 9.30, but I'm going to try to push it to 9.45. Um, yeah, so I just want to say welcome to the vlog. I have no clue what we're reading today. I think... I think we're gonna end up reading the teacher actually I did a poll on Instagram yesterday to see what book I should read next since I just finished late let's just see what everyone is saying oh my gosh it's Magnolia Parks Magnolia Parks is winning right now let me show y'all if y'all can even see I don't know if y'all can see it though Anyways, I put the teacher on there, Magnolia Parks, Twisted Games, and the number one lawyer. Magnolia Parks has 38% votes. The teacher has 35% votes. But I honestly think I'm in a thriller mood. I don't think I want to read another romance since I just read like two romances already back to back. Oh, dang near. So I think we're going to end up going with Frida McFadden, although... Magnolia Parts is winning, but I will probably read Magnolia Parts after the teacher. I don't know. We'll see. Let me work out. Let me see how I'm feeling by the time I leave the gym, take a shower, get my day started, and then we'll figure out what book I pick. But I just wanted to say what's up, and I will talk to y'all later. I have showered I have like made up my bed and all of that I am about to go downstairs and make my lunch we'll get ready to go ahead and make it because I'm hungry and I'm probably gonna go ahead and make me some breakfast as well all I had was like a bite of a banana after the gym but the gym was really really good I had chest and triceps and shoulders today with cardio so it went really good um right now though I just finished my morning reports for work but I am on Amazon yeah, I know I stay on Amazon. I even got my oldest daughter. She is hooked on Amazon. Well, she's not hooked on it, but she's like, Mommy, I want this. I want that. And she'll go to my phone and go straight to Amazon. I'm like, girl, you are your mother's child. <laughs> but um, y'all, my lips a little dry. Get my lip gloss in a second, my chapstick. But I am on Amazon because I officially ran out of space on my bookshelves. I ran out of space so I'm buying another bookshelf and this is the one that I'm looking at again because downstairs it's already a lot going on downstairs like we got our living room set our kitchen our we got an office desk we got a treadmill we got two bookshelves and I'm about to bring one upstairs we just got a lot going on my kids trampoline so I wanted something that's not too big in the way but I needed something bigger than just what I have so I'm looking at this one here I absolutely love the sleekness of it um, so I'm going to order this one it's only $53 I'm going to get that off Amazon today it should be here by tomorrow hopefully my husband will put that together because I don't put nothing together um, and I just cannot wait to decorate it. I still have to finish decorating the other bookshelf um, that is under my TV with like plants and all of the things. I just have not been in a rush to buy so much stuff, y'all, because we spend so much money all the time. I'm just taking my time and um, I'm going to go ahead and buy decorations for all of those soon. But that is the bookshelf I'm looking at. It is a five shelf, five tier bookshelf. 
So I'm going to put that one in the spot where the small bookshelf is that's in the corner by my kitchen. And I'm going to bring that one upstairs and this big one will go right there. Um, so I'm just really excited for it. And then I am going to go ahead and order the entire Hunger Games series. I'm going to buy every single book today. Um, you all, you may or may not know, but I mentioned it so many times. Hunger Games is like one of my favorite favorite books ever um uh, well movies ever hunger games divergent maze runner passengers avatar um i feel like i'm missing i'm i'm pretty sure i'm missing some but i've never read the books so i am going to get all of those books today and i have a very fun video dedicated to that series alone that i plan to do so i have a couple of things i need to buy today my um oldest daughters at also turning five soon so i am about to book her birthday party so i need to call the place where we're going to have it or try to have it if it's like not sold out already <laughs> and i'm going to go ahead and make the deposit and book that today as well and i just need to film a video for sunday so we're going to have a productive day today i'm going to go ahead and get started now um i just want to check in with y'all we probably won't be reading until later today. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. This vlog is just getting started. <laughs> yesterday y'all can't see me better this way i started the teacher yesterday and i'm almost halfway through and we are having a time at Mama. close friends i am doing a spoiler one second baby okay i am doing a spoiler por portion and close friends with me reading it and we are just having so much fun they are really enjoying my reactions in like real time it is such a great time, but I'm going to probably leave the camera here because my husband needs to take it to work. So I will be vlogging the rest of me reading the teacher while I'm at work on my phone. But I wanted to show y'all something real quick. This box right here, I have a surprise for y'all. Don't mind the stuff on the floor because we're about to leave. I have a surprise for y'all and I will show y'all when I get home. So talk to you at work. Hey y'all, so I am at work and a quick update on The Teacher by Frida McFadden. I am on page 220. I am 57% through the book. And y'all, I did not go to bed until like midnight last night because I was up reading this book. I was on Close Friends with my reactions. We were all DMing. We were just cracking up about my reactions through to the book. <laughs> and a lot of um, my followers on there were having the same reactions as well. So we are just cracking up 
but I am 57% through the book and I am shocked at myself y'all because I didn't expect to have gotten that far but I just couldn't stop reading so I'm about to keep reading now y'all I probably won't have any b-rolls for this one because I don't have my camera so I'm just going to keep reading um make sure you all follow me on Instagram because if you would like to see like my reactions reading these books spoiler and close friends and spoiler free and just my regular stories follow me on my Instagram because I am always posting on my stories when I'm reading a book my reactions my thoughts so you all can like feel the feels with me but I'm about to keep reading now, y'all. I just wanted to give y'all an update, and I'm going to talk to y'all soon. So just an update on where I'm at right now. Everybody is just pretty suspicious to me. I am just the cliffhangers. Frida McFadden's writing is just superior. It's superior. <laughs> I love her writing so much. Again, in this book, she leaves dang near every chapter on the cliffhanger it is so fast paced it's easy to read it's easy to follow it's easy to digest i'm loving it so much still trying to figure out the mystery behind on what's going on between like Addie, eve mr tuttle kenzie little trifling but kenzie and lotus pisses me off like one thing about me i cannot stand a bully i don't tolerate it i don't respect it at all i've always and always have been a type to stand up for those who have could not stand up for themselves because who you playing with find somebody else to play with um her friend hudson like i kind of understand why he kind of like backed up from addy now but even still like just allowing certain things to happen to addy because of this little posse group of girls it just ain't sitting right with me you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in this book that I don't even want to give spoilers to. I will give more in depth on like how I was feeling throughout the story a little bit later. But I just had to give y'all that update on where I'm at and I'm about to keep reading. when them kids are in the bed and the house is shut down. It's now 8.38 on a Friday night and I'm about to read. <laughs> but no, seriously, I need to take a shower first. Get real cozy or whatever. But we are on page 265 of the teacher, y'all. We are finishing this tonight. I don't care how late we gonna be up. We not gonna be up that late because I am a fast reader. And the plot is plotting. It's thickening. It's plot twist, y'all. I'm in close friends. Let me just show y'all. I'm in close friends right now, y'all. And I'm just really quickly, y'all. I'm just giving like my He's predictions or whatever. And we are just having so much fun over on Instagram in the DMs. And I'm doing polls, asking them questions, and they're like, I'm not telling you anything, Bethany. So just, just read the book. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing. So far, so good, y'all. This book is at a four, four and a half star. Um, I did get a DM saying, once you read the ending of the book, it's going to be a five star. So I'm like, okay, we gonna see. We gonna see. So I'm about to take me a shower. And y'all, we about to read the rest of this book. Good morning, friends. It's like 10 o'clock AM. I'm just now really getting out of the bed. I just finish reading the teacher it is saturday and i just finished reading it y'all like wow i ended up writing it five stars and that says a lot and let me tell you why so first of all my notes on goodreads when i was annotating that book is like crazy i was just like oh my goodness i had so many different predictions if you were in my close friends reading blog spoiler for the teacher then if you know you know but the reason why i gave it five stars well first of all read the trigger warnings if you are bothered by like um peta what is the word pedophilia pedophile predator type ish then don't read this book right 
Um, and I have children, so I try to like stay away from books like that. That makes me like very makes my anxiety like go up because I have two children, especially two little girls. Um, however, however, outside of that, Freedom McFadden did a great job with this. So this is my second Freedom McFadden book, and I rated this one five stars. I rated both of her books five stars, and reason being is because. I can never predict what the true plot of the story is. Like, I always knew that, the, the, well, when certain things was going to happen, I started pre to predict, like, oh, maybe this is it, or, oh, this really ain't what it is. And, wow, there were so many different plot twists of the story. And I'm like, what? What? You get what I'm saying? And the ending of that book, when you actually find out who is who and what actually happened, it's jaw-dropping. Like Frida, wow, you did that girl. Frida, you did that girl. So five stars for me. I am still taking it in. Like I literally just finished y'all. I just climbed out of the bed. I didn't even make my bed up or anything. Um, my husband held it down this morning for me with the kids. So now it's I, I got to get into mommy mode, get my life together. But five stars, y'all. The teacher by Frida McFadden. And the thing is, I'm not really a thriller girly. So... Both times Frida has kept me very hooked to the story to where I'm, I'm like, I can't put the book down. I got to keep reading. And that says a lot because me reading a genre that is not like my favorite genre for an author to be able to do that for me says a lot about her writing. So let me get my life together, um, make up my bed, check on my kids. And yeah, I will talk to y'all soon. Hey friends, so we are back home and I did not record anything. It was just so much going on. I even brought you all, I packed you all up in the car with me and I'm like, I'm gonna take you all on our little Saturday and it just didn't work out that way. So let me prop y'all up. Let me tell y'all what we just did. Okay, so we had to go get my little sister from the airport. Um, we had to go pick her up. So we went to do that. And then once we did that, um, we went to her house briefly. And then we went to the mall because my girls needed some more sneakers. Like, they just needed more shoes in general. Um, their feet is growing so fast. I swear, like, I have a whole box of shoes that I already have to get rid of because they just grow so fast. So I do plan to do that probably tomorrow. I'll pack it up and get, get ready to, like, take it to, like, Goodwill or something like that. Um, but I ended up getting them um, two pairs of Crocs. Y'all, look at these Crocs my oldest daughter wanted. But they're so cute. They're just little unicorn Crocs. They, that is just my baby. Like, she is like the girliest of girls, y'all. She love everything. Pinks, purples, just bright colors. Tutus, princess dresses, like that's her. I got my youngest baby, these really cute sparkly crocs right here we went to journey's kids by the way so she got these little cute sparkly crocs and then um i got my oldest baby because she's in school um i got her just these black and white little converse these little chuck taylors um and i wanted to get my youngest daughter some of those as well but they didn't have her size so i am actually on my phone now ordering ava some um chuck taylor's and then i'm going to order them some sandals as well but the reason why i didn't like keep looking around the mall because y'all ava was showing her behind like it, samia just was being samia samia just wanted to do her own thing she wasn't listening had to repeat myself a couple of times and Ava was like full blown, having a full blown tantrum, screaming to the top of her lungs the whole time we were in there. So I was like, you know what? Just grab me two pairs of Crocs, these Chuck Taylors, and let's go. We got to go. Because the way she was up in there, screaming and hollering, that y'all, it looked like I have no control over my kids. It looks like I am a parent that just lets my kids do whatever, and that is far from the truth. But I was showing Ava a little bit of grace because she does not have a nap, y'all. And typically, we don't go nowhere. We go nowhere without nap time first. But because we had to get my sister from the airport, and I was like, you know what, we're out. Let's just go ahead and grab these shoes. Bad call on my on my on my end. But regardless, we got these shoes. I'm about to order a couple more pairs. Order them some sandals because it is getting nicer outside. 
Um, and that'll be it for them. I am also online looking for an outfit for Saturday because my sister is having her, um, she's having like something for all her bridesmaids. I'm sure she wants the access to be her bridesmaids, which we already know, but she wants to like give us a gift um, to properly access. So I have like her little event to go to on Saturday. So I am currently online shopping now to find me a cute little outfit, cute little dress probably some new heels or something but yeah so that's what's going on right now my kids are in the tub so i'm about to get ready to get them out i have to take their hair down and i'm gonna wash it and style it tomorrow so we have quite an event for the rest of the evening i will try my best to record what i can y'all but honestly these kids have stressed me out so bad today i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna hold you it was a stressful day <laughs> so i'm about to get um my kids out the tub and then um i will check in with y'all soon Imagine sun shining, pink clouds in the sky, yeah, everything is right. Imagine stars lighting up the night, and the shooting star is so vibrant, you have to make a wish. Nothing's ever. Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. It is 9 44 in the morning. I'm about to make breakfast for my family. But I forgot to mention last night when reading the teacher, I realized that some people or a lot of people will share away from this book or will not read this book because of the trigger warnings, which does involve like pedoph pedophilia, is that how you say it? Pedophile, um, like predator type stuff, grooming type stuff. And yes, as it is very triggering, I have two daughters that I do not play about. I have nieces, I have nephews, I have a lot of little children in my life. Um, and I don't play that. But while I'm taking heed to that trigger warning, it can also be as a learning lesson. I want you all to look at it in a different perspective with the teacher by Freedom McFadden. It's also a learning lesson because when your kids get to a certain age and they start to go into their shell and not want to be as open with their parents, those are the times where you really have to know what's going on with your children because it's not just other kids that get into your kid's head it can be these teachers you know it can be these mentors that you think um your kids are safe with and they are the ones that are grooming them and that's in their ears speaking things that they shouldn't be speaking so you can also read this book as in a different perspective and look at it that way that always making sure that you are trying your best to know what is going on in your children's lives so i meant to say that yesterday um i i need to start cooking for real but um, I'm gonna check in with y'all later because we gotta look at this new bookshelf. We got a book haul. We we got a lot of things going today that I wanna show you all in this vlog. So I will chat with y'all soon. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I hope you are having a great start to your week so far. I wanted to check in real quick to let you all know what I'm reading now. So as you all know, in the beginning of the video, I did read and finish reading the teacher. I did rate that five stars, just to recap. Now, y'all, I have finally, this specific book I had marked as i wanted to read since august of 2023 we are finally reading magnolia parks we are finally reading magnolia okay i am only about 50 pages in so i don't know how i'm feeling right now the only thing i do know for sure and two things for certain magnolia love her son bj and bj love him some magnolia but for whatever reason but for whatever reason um um, sorry y'all. I'm being a good citizen letting people letting people turn. I um BJ, I'm sorry, BJ did something to Magnolia child. He done did something. And Magnolia is standing ten toes down. She's like, No, you're not about to have me back, honey. I don't care how much I want you. <laughs> I'ma torture myself and I'ma torture you just to prove my point. Like you're not about to treat me any kind of way. And think you about to get back in my bed. Well, no, not that. Get back um, together with me. Get back in my heart. Because he's been in the bed, child. So, so far, so good. I don't, again, I don't quite know how I feel about it. I don't know at all what even close what my rating would be. But I am in the office all week at work. So, y'all know when I'm in office all week, I get a lot of reading done. Because I don't got all them distractions with my house and filming and cleaning and working. And I just be doing the most. 
and cooking. Yeah, just the most. So I will be getting a lot of reading done today. I made another close friends from Magnolia Parks. This one was actually highly requested. And I think this is the most I had in my spoiler reading vlog via Instagram on close friends than any other book. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Magnolia Parks, then The Teacher, and then, what was the other book I read? Never Lie, I pr I'm pretty sure. So, we are just having a time at Close Friends per usual. I absolutely love this because I can actually get my thoughts out and tell y'all how I feel about this book in real time for those who read it and asked to join it um, in real time versus like having to figure out words to say so I don't give any spoilers. So for YouTube and for the regular Instagram stories, I'm giving like very vague responses and um, how I'm feeling. But on Close Friends, baby, we getting down for real. We are talking about the tea for real. So. It's just so much fun. We're just having a, such a good time. But I am on my way to work. It looks like I'll get there right two minutes before I have to clock in, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on this roll. I am jamming out to the classic Chris Brown exclusive album. If you know, you know. I will forever be stuck in the early 2000s, baby. Because that was the best era. 90s and early 2000s best era. Argue with your mama. Don't argue, don't argue with me, child. Argue with your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, really quick as well, y'all. I heard Walmart book selection is tea. Y'all know I already tried Target. I've been to Barnes and Noble. I need to go to Walmart anyway because I'm trying to find my baby some sandals and some cute dresses. Getting warm outside, so I'm trying to get them a little bit of pair of shoes. Y'all know I already got them some sneakers and stuff. Now I want to get them some sandals. So I'm going to look at um Walmart first. And then I need to find a little bit of decor for my bookshelves. So while we're in there, we're just going to check the book section as well. So we'll do that after work. Well, I need to go to the nail salon first and they close like seven. So we probably gonna go there. Then we're gonna go to Walmart. And then we're gonna go home and, and do what we need to do. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all soon. Made it to work and I wanted to show y'all real quick. Y'all, I literally have to be in there by now. But look what I have again, y'all. I wanted to let you know, I used to drink a gallon of water faithfully about two years ago. That is no lie. And my results were amazing. I mean, amazing, y'all. If y'all ever trying to get your stomach down, working on your gut or anything, drinking a gallon of water a day will not only show you tremendous results with that but it also will help with your skin and just all the things so i am back on it um i'm going to start now like as soon as i get inside it's eight o'clock now y'all have to be in there like yesterday but i just wanted to go ahead and show y'all this um yeah i'm back on a gallon of water y'all summer is almost here and i ain't playing around with y'all so <laughs> We ain't back on our guys in the water, okay? Anyways, let me go to work. <laughs> So I just left the nail salon. I got my nails and feet done, y'all, because it's been long overdue. I had took a break from getting my nails done. Sorry, y'all, I'm looking for my lotion. I had took a break from getting my nails done because they were just getting weak. So I needed it to get needed them to get strong again. So it was time, baby. It was time. So I need more lotion. Oh, I need more lotion. So um I am leaving now. I was going to head to Walmart, but y'all, this migraine that I have, which I do, I do want to thank God because my headache was on 10, right? But when I was in Nelson, I was in so much pain. I just said a silent prayer in my head. I said, Lord, please just take this pain away from me. Take this migraine away from me because I am not home with my migraine medicine. And I pretty much stated like, Lord, I don't have to depend on this migraine medicine to heal me from this. Can you in this moment just please relieve me of the pain? And he did. And I'm not exaggerating. So though I do have a small lingering little headache, it is nothing compared to what it was. I'm going to go home, take my migraine pills, and just <clears throat> let it take the edge off and we'll be good. So I'm about to call my husband really quick to see if... Um, He'll get food for me like I know I'm already out but I don't want to stop 
I don't know. We'll see. But y'all, really quickly, I am on page, I think, 172 or 75 of Magnolia Parks. 175 and I am liking this book. I ain't even gonna hold you. I am liking it <clears throat> And yes, it is a little toxic. Yes, it is messy, but I was expecting like way more tox toxicity <laughs> And although I asked I am not even halfway through yet. I'm sure it's probably coming But I have an opinion on every single character and I am just enjoying this story so far y'all So I'm about to call my man real quick and then I will check in with y'all soon of Magnolia Park so far and I am just having a good time with this story I am on page 252 I think I just said and right now I could say I am at a four star this book is thoroughly entertaining though it is some toxicness and they have some childish ways but it is good it's hilarious the dynamic between the friend group the dynamic between Magnolia and BJ the family drama it's all just hilarious it's a hot mess <laughs> i can honestly say but i am enjoying it there seems to be some beef between miss magnolia and daisy hates and i know there's like this thing if you're team daisy or if you're team magnolia i cannot wait to read daisy's story because i need to know what's tea i feel like i know what the um i feel like i know what the what's the word i'm looking for the base of the issue could be but I'm sure there's more to the story, but I just wanted to give y'all this update. I'm gonna see how much more reading I can get done while I'm at work and I'll check in with y'all. Hey friends, so we have made it to the end of the video and I'm saving like all the best things for last. So first things first, we are going to do um, a book haul and then I am going to talk to you all about the teacher really quickly because I did finish the book today. And then I am going to show you all my new bookshelf. Yay! Which we won't be doing any like decorating or anything to the bookshelf in this video. That will be for Sunday's video. But I will show you all the completed bookshelf that my husband did go ahead and build for me. So let's start with this book haul first because I know this vlog is getting a little bit long. So the first book we have here that I ordered on Amazon is the hunger games even though this isn't the first one this one is actually catching fire and i do have the other books here so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those out so i ended up buying the entire hunger Games series so let's try to put these in order we got the hunger games and then i want to say it's catch um it's mocking jay and then I want to say it's Catching Fire. And then I want to say it's the Ballet of Songbirds and Snakes. I can have these kind of out, out of order. I'm just going off of from like the movies. But I have the entire Hunger Games series here. And I have a very fun video dedicated to just this series alone. As you may or may not, not or as you may or may not heard me say many, many times. This is one of like my favorite book um, movies ever. And I have never read the books and I've heard the Hunger Games books are even better than the movies and my brain just can't wrap around it. So if you've never heard of the Hunger Games, I'm just gonna read the back of it to you. If you never even saw the movie, I highly suggest you go watch it. But if you wanna read the book, I'm just gonna tell you what it's about, what it's about really quickly. It says, in the ruins of a place once known as North America lies the nation of Penem, a shining capital surrounded by 12 outlying districts. The capital is harsh and cruel and keeps the districts in line by forcing them all to send one boy and one girl between the ages of 12 and 18 to participate in the annual Hunger Games, a fight to the death on live TV. 16-year-old Katniss Everdeen regards it as a death sentence when she steps forward to take her sister's place in the games. But Katniss has been close to dead before and survival for her is second nature. Without really meaning to, she becomes a contender. But if she is to win, she will have to start making choices that weigh survival against humanity and life against love. 
it just makes me want to put the movies on right now and if you haven't seen the movies i believe right now they are on netflix all of them besides the very last one which is the ballads of songbirds and snakes and that one is actually coming to stars in may but you can rent it on prime i think for like 6.99 or 3.99 i can't remember so yes i got the entire hunger game series first so let's move on the next books we have here i'm gonna take out one at a time because we do have two this one is better than the movies by lynn painter heard many good things about this book i'm going to read the back to it um back of it for you in case you've never heard of this book it says, I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm going to skip it. Liz B. has always known that Wes Bennett was not boyfriend material. You would think that her next door neighbor would be a prime candidate for her romantic com comedy fantasies. But Wes has only proven himself to be a pain in the butt ever since they were little. Wes was the kid who put a frog in her Barbie dream house. The monster who hid a lawn gnome severed head in her little homemade neighborhood book exchange. Flash forward 10 years from the great gnome decap decapitation. It's Liz's senior year, a time meant to be ripe with milestones perfect for any big screen, and she needs Wes's help. See, Liz forever crush Michael has just moved back to town, and horribly, annoyingly, he's hitting it off with Wes. Meaning that if Liz wants Michael to finally notice her and hopefully be her prom date, she needs Wes. He's her aunt. But as Liz and Wes scheme to get Liz her magical prom moment, she's shocked to discover that she actually likes being around Wes. And as they continue to grow closer, she must re-examine everything she thought she knew about love and rethink her own perception of what happily ever after should really look like. Isn't this book just so cute and bright and happy? It's just giving very much like summer slash spring vibes and I'm here for it. I don't know where gonna, when we're gonna get around to this book, but I feel like it's gonna be soon. The next book that we have here is um, After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Y'all, I heard so many good things about this author, especially because a lot of my followers and subscribers know that I am obsessed with Kennedy Ryan's writing, and they literally put her up there in the category of Kennedy Ryan. I immediately snapped, snapped a couple of her books because baby, you ain't you ain't gotta say nothing but a word. You ain't saying nothing but a word, okay? Say less, I'm about to go order all her books, okay? So this one is about when Lauren and Ryan's marriage reaches the breaking point, they come up with an unconventional plan. They decide to take a year off in hope of finding a way to fall in love again. One year apart and only one rule, they cannot contact each other. Aside from that, anything goes. Lauren embarks a, a journey of self-discovery quickly finds that her friends and family have their own ideas about the meaning of marriage. These influences, as well as her own healing process, and the challenges of living apart from Ryan begin to change Lauren's idea about mon monogamy and marriage. She starts to question when you can have romance without fidelity and commitment without marriage. When love and lust are no longer tied together, what do you value? What are you willing to fight for? This is a love story about what happens when the love fades. It's about staying in love, seizing love, forsaking love, and committing to love with everything you got. And above all, after I do, it's the story of a couple caught in an old game and search for a new road to happily ever after. I feel like this is going to hit me differently. I just feel like it is, and I just cannot wait to read to read this. I'm already letting you know now. This is probably going to be like one of my first reads in the in the month of May. So I'm letting you know now because I am stoked to read this. And she's also the author of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So y'all, I'm going to go ahead and buy the book. Y'all know I've been looking at that book for a long time and I'm going to go ahead and buy it. So by, by the time the next vlog come out, I'm sure I'll have it or I would, I'll be going to buy it. Okay. <laughs> the next book that I have here or that I've ordered is I think another Taylor Jenkins read. No, no, no. An Abby Jimenez book. This one is called Part of Your World. I heard so, y'all, so many good things about this author in this book. So Taylor Jenkins Reid and Abby Jimenez will be the first, like my first time reading those authors. And I'm just so excited to be introduced to them and just expand my category. So this one is about after a row bed gourmet grilled cheese sandwich and cuddle with the baby goat, Alexis Montgomery has her whole world turned upside down. 
The calls Daniel Grant, a ridiculously hot comforter who's 10 years younger than her and as casual as they come, the complete opposite of sophisticated city girl Alexis, and yet their chemistry is undeniable. While her ultra-wealthy parents want her to carry on the family legacy of world-renowned surgeons, Alexis doesn't need glory or fame. She's fine with being a mere ER doctor, and every minute she spends with Daniel in the tight-knit town where she lives, she's discovering just what's really important. Yet, letting their relationship become anything more than a short-term fling would mean turning her back on people and family and giving up the opportunity to help thousands of people. Bringing Daniel into her world is impossible, and yet she can't just give up the joy she's found with him either. With so many differences between them, how can Alexis possibly choose her world and his? I think the the um, synopsis just says a lot about this story already. And look at this cover. Look at the cover. I feel like I am watching or I'm looking at a rom-com movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that is the book haul for this video, y'all. We got quite a few books. We got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new books. Oh, all of them are from Amazon. But let's go ahead and get into um, Magnolia Parks. I mean, let's go ahead and talk about that. And then let me show y'all this bookshelf. And then this book right here is the messiest book I have ever read. The messiest. And yet I still rated it for four and a half stars. Y'all. I have been waiting to read this book since August of last year and I finally read it and I am I, I do want to preface and say that I'm happy I didn't go into this book without any expectations um, because it really it didn't put a damper on what my on what I expected out of this book right so what I mean by that is because this book is like pretty much different from any book that I have read it was literally feeling like I was watching a reality TV show. I really, really enjoyed it. It was thoroughly entertaining. Let me just start off with that. It was very, very entertaining. Just the Hastings, I just can't believe she wrote a story like this. Like, it was messy. It was toxic. It was hilarious. The dynamic between the friends, the family, the main characters was just... The love triangles, child, I ain't never seen so many love triangles in one story. And I also have not read a story where the ending was still in cahoots either, right? Um, however, if I had to put my take on it, if anything, I feel as though you should read this book, if not just for the entertainment, but as a lesson. I was saying this in my close friends. There comes a time in your life where you really can't love somebody too much. If you are loving somebody more than you're loving yourself and to the point where you are doing things to harm yourself, if you are doing things to where like you're on the brink of ruin, like you are life or death at this point, if this person makes one little mistake, you need to reevaluate yourself and a relationship like that is just not healthy. It's not healthy. And I really pray that none of you all are in relationships to where like you feel as though this one person, you're so in love with them to where it's so toxic to where you can't even imagine living another day if they were to continue to break your heart. Nobody should have that much power over you, over your feelings, over your emotions or anything like that. Magnolia and BJ, in my personal opinion, they need to call it quits for good. Like, I feel as though Magnolia needs to leave London. I feel like she needs to come to the U.S. and get as far away from that type of environment as possible. Or BJ, one of them, need, they just need to be on two separate continents. Because for whatever reason, and you'll see why, some things I feel as though you just can't come back from, in my personal opinion. And yet, when you keep trying to force it, that's when you will continue to have chaos in your life. You will continue to have struggles in your life. You will continue to grow things that you're not even in, supposed to go to. That God is don't even want you to have to go through all of those things. But because you're forcing yourself or you're forcing something that should completely just unravel and just be let go of, you're going to continue to go through these trials and tri tribulations, honey. 
I recommend this book. I really, really do. And I'm actually excited to read Daisy Hates because I need to know what's tea with Miss Daisy, honey. We got like a small glimpse of Daisy in this book and Christian and I guess I just didn't expect Daisy to have that kind of like demeanor or attitude in this book. Granted, I didn't really have any expectations on any of their personalities or demeanors. But I guess I was just a little taken aback because I felt as though when I was hearing reviews about this book, the way that people were describing these characters, I guess I just pictured something totally different. I don't know. But this book was four, four and a half stars. I'm gonna sleep on it to see if it is gonna end up being four and a half stars or four stars. This was a totally different book or a story that I have ever read. And I am so glad that you all recommended Magnolia Parks to me. This was long anticipated. Like anytime I did a poll on Instagram, y'all was like, read Magnolia Parks, please read Magnolia Parks. And I finally got around to it. And I thank y'all for always voting for it because if y'all didn't keep voting for it, it probably would have kept, she probably would have been waiting a little bit longer. But I need a break from them. They are a lot. They stress me out real bad. So I'm gonna read another book and then we're gonna get into Daisy Hayes. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. We'll figure that out tomorrow. But we're gonna take a break from the Magnolia Parks universe and then we'll hop back into it. So let's get into this new bookshelf and then we're done. So as you can see behind me, we have my new bookshelf, yay. So this is a five tier bookshelf and don't worry, I am going to do like slow-mo um, so you all can hear me talk about the bookshelf a little bit. I did get this on Amazon. It was probably around like $53 or so. Um, it is a one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five tier bookshelf. Don't ask me if it was hard to put together. I have no clue. I just came home from the nail salon and my husband had it built for me. So I don't plan on this thing on this wall. I feel as though this may end up going against this wall. Maybe, I'm not sure, I have to play around with it. Um, for Sunday's video, you all will see me decorate the um, bookshelf and all of those things. I am going to transport the bookshelves on my small one onto these bookshelves and then we're just gonna keep collecting. I do want you to be mindful that when I do decorate this bookshelf the first time, it's gonna be, it ain't gonna be that full, y'all. It's gonna be a little bit empty because I have my bookshelf over there that's completely filled and I don't want to touch that one. So as we get new books, we're going to keep adding um, adding them to the bookshelf along with some decorations. I already got this little hanging faux plant. I got one for now um, to go on here. I need to get about two or three more plants along with some other small decor. I was going to order them online, but I kind of want to go into the store just see what they have first. Um, so I just want to, I'm going to show you all like a compare on how, on the upgrade for my other bookshelf. So I'm going to take y'all down and we're going, I'm going to let y'all see. So this was my very first bookshelf that I ever bought y'all. And I just want y'all to see the size difference between this one and my new one. It is such a major difference y'all. And I'm just so blessed. I'm so thankful. Um, again, I don't know if I want it right there, right next to our office desk. Please don't look. We got to, first of all, my degree and his certificates and stuff all fell down. So I bought some new command hooks. So we can just get this all back together. So don't judge this right now, y'all. I'm going to get it together. But like I was saying, I think I'm going to move this bookshelf maybe over there or maybe like in the corner slanted. But I do have children and this is a heavy bookshelf. So I don't think I'm going to have it like slanted against the wall like that because I don't trust my babies, y'all. They like to climb things and I don't want this to tumble over them. So we'll play around with it in the next vlog. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye, friends.